Now today we're focusing on family dynamics and communication because we know how a brain tumor can sort of throw a, you know, th throw a wrench in, in some of the dynamics and communication that we have with our families. And today I'm so happy to introduce to you Jan Triba. She is a clinical social worker and she is relatively new to the Mammoth Medical Center and she's working with people with brain tumors on the floor uh, within the hospital. So this will be your opportunity to get to know Jan a little bit better and if you seek treatment here, um, you'll be able to recognize Jan and um, continue that dialogue. So Jan, I'll let you introduce yourself. Hi. Uh, thank you, Wendy. And good evening, everyone. I'm really happy to be here tonight. It's my pleasure to be in your company. Um, as uh, Wendy uh, and you all know, tonight's topic is family dynamics and communication. And I have a sense that most of us are familiar with the term communication, but how many know what family dynamics means? Okay. Well, hopefully by the end of our time together tonight, you'll come away with a little more of an understanding of what we mean by family dynamics and why it's so important. So in your packet tonight, I did include a one-page handout on just highlighting some of the points that I'll be talking about this evening. And if your style is to take notes, please feel free to do so. But I do invite you to just sit back and kind of take in my words. I'm really of the philosophy that whatever you come away with tonight, whatever stays with you, is probably what you need. So I invite you to consider that. Um, also, I invite you to think about your own families and your own experiences as I go through some of the variables of the dynamics um, that occur in families. So as Wendy mentioned, I'm a licensed clinical social worker here at Monmouth Medical Center, and I see um, the patients and families from the brain tumor program, usually up on BBR4 in our infusion um, mm -hmm. suite. That's where I'm located. Um, but should you ever need me for any other questions or concerns and you're not on that unit, I have included my phone number at the top of that handout and feel free to contact me. But in my role on the multidisciplinary team, I try to get to know the patients and families slowly over time, building a level of trust and support. And this is to help patients and family um, adjust to the diagnosis, um, adjust to the treatment, um, and to enhance quality of life. And one of the main goals of really all psychosocial care is to try to treat the patient and family as a unit. Um, and by doing that, everyone benefits. So in my work, and um, I think the, the work of the nurses on the team, we try to understand family dynamics so that we can better help, under, um, help our families and we have a sense of how we might be able to intervene and what ser services or resources might help them in their adjustment and in their quality of life. So as all of you very well know, and as Wendy already mentioned, um, the diagnosis of a brain tumor impacts not only the person with the illness, but it has a rippling effect throughout the entire family. We recognize that people have very complex lives before they become diagnosed with, the, you know, with a brain tumor. And as medical caregivers, I feel that the more we understand about the dynamics in a patient and family um, life and how they interact, um, will just help us provide better care. It, it's really good care to understand what our um, patients and families are going through. So, this is a long way of saying and asking, what do we mean by family dynamics? Well, it's a global term, and it incorporates a lot of different variables. Very simply, family dynamics is the patterns of who, when, and how the members interact with one another. It is about how they relate to each other. It's almost like what we kind of call the fabric of their lives. And we know that patients and families are quite unique and will 
um, respond and adjust to a brain tumor diagnosis differently. But while our families are different and unique, they really do have some similarities, and I'm going to talk about the similarities in a moment.